Warning, this review may contain spoilers, strong language, violence, and content of a graphic nature. It may not be suitable for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello terror fans, this is DJ Surreal with Descent Sundays and I'm here to give you another Trick or Treat Horror Fest movie review. Today we're actually going to be talking about All Hallows Eve. I was really excited to see this movie when I saw the trailer. My, my coworker showed it to me and I was like, wow, that looks awesome. And then we watched it and it was terrible. <laughs> Now, this movie does have a few redeeming qualities. Um, the clown is actually incredibly fucking creepy. Like, he is, like, like really creepy. And there's, like, this scene um, that he's sort of, like, you see him walking up to the TV and he's all, like, fucking creepy and shit. And then he walks up and he's like, rap, rap. And it's, honestly, that gave me a little bit of a, <gasps> yeah. And it lingered. It lingered. But I'm telling you, that is like the only good thing about this movie. <laughs> um, the rest of it was really awful. Um, basically, you get this this babysitter on Halloween, and she's babysitting these two kids, and these two kids just come back from trick or treating, and the one kid upends his bag, and he's got a video cassette. Yeah, I said cassette, like a VHS. Who, what the fuck? Who has those anymore? Nobody. <laughs> but he upturns his VHS, and she's like, oh. What's that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, let's watch it. Okay. So they pop it in. Oh, well, I'd like to also say the kids acting was really terrible. Really bad. Um, it was not very believable. They were just, it, it felt very stiff. Babysitter, also not great. So they pop in this movie and it's basically this like really weird, um, subway scene where this chick's at the subway and like there's the clown there and the clowns are being all like creepy creepy and honking this little fucking horn and then basically she gets she ends up in like the sewer and like you know gets raped by witches or de demon worshippers or whatever and it was it's all very weird so then the babysitter's like oh i'm gonna turn this off and send the kids to bed and then for some unknown reason she sits down and watches the rest even though she's obviously bored by it um Basically, this movie felt like someone had created three short films that all featured this clown in some way, and then was like, yeah, I'm gonna put those together in a movie. That's, that's not a story. <laughs> you have three shorts. They were better as three shorts. Because literally, like, it's like, the movie is the babysitter watching the shorts. Like, that's, that's the movie, pretty much. And it's not like, and the, the angles are really weird, like how they, how they show, like when they show the babysitter, it's always on a funny angle and it just, I don't know, the whole feel, the whole thing feels really awkward. And like I said, the only really good thing about it is, is, is the clown. Um, actually I lied. There's one other good thing about it and that's, well, sort of the ending. The ending was actually wasn't shot very well. Basically, I'm going to spoil it for you because this movie's really awful and I wouldn't re actually recommend you to watch it. So she watches the three short films and the last short film, um, the clown is basically psychotically chasing some chick in, in the clip. She makes a phone call and there's a specific dialogue. So the babysitter finishes watching the movie, um, turns it off. The phone rings. She picks up the phone and has the exact same conversation that happens in the movie she just watched. Super unoriginal, not very great. It was kind of like, whatever. Anyway, so then she's, ooh, some creepy stuff happens around the house and the babysitter is all weirded out. And then she hears a noise upstairs. She goes upstairs to see what's going on. And you see two decap, the two kids are dead. They're, they've been decapitated and all you see is their heads. And then she gets all weirded out and she runs downstairs and then she hears something. She turns around, there's a clown, the clown laughing at her covered in blood and then boop, he's gone. And then that's the end of the movie. 
So I kind of liked that they killed the kids because that's not really something you normally see in a horror movie. Usually it's the babysitter that gets it. So I like that they took that different direction. They were like, no, you know what? Bam, we're going to do the kids. But the whole thing was like really rushed. It was poorly done. Um, like I said, also the whole sense of timing, because like the clips themselves, like each of the shorts was probably about 15 to 20 minutes. The whole movie as a whole is like an hour and 10 minutes. So 75% of it was watching these clips. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, this movie was a total trick. I felt horribly tricked by it um, and yeah the movie trailer made it look way better anyway so that's my review for All Hallows Eve um, thank you so much for joining us and I will see you tomorrow for another horror movie review Sorry, that just helps me, like, if I'm just skimming, then I'll know, you know? <laughs> Jazz hands, trailer time! <laughs>